Hey guys, Blue, Delta, and this is it, the final duel of our first uh, anime deck tournament. So we've seen, if you guys have been watching, which I'm hoping a lot of you have, if, you, if not you should go back and watch it, there's been a lot of amazing games, mm -hmm. you know, Duel of the Villains, Duel of the Femme du Fatales, you know, we've seen Joey vs. Yugi. So, there have been a lot of great games uh, so far in this tournament, and it's all come down to this. It's Zane's Seven Stars deck versus Joey's Waking the Dragons deck. Both these decks have done outstanding jobs so far in the tournament, obviously, to have gotten here. And it's going to come down to this to see who wins our first tournament that we're doing. Again, we've done do some, do network oh, ones before. Yeah. Those were a lot of fun. This is the first time we're doing one with me and Delta, and... I, this, I can't believe it's, it's already here. It's this over. will be a match as well. So uh, best two out of three. Um, both these players fought long and hard. They uh, deserve to be in the finals. Uh, whoever makes the finals deserves to be there. But we want to make sure that nobody will lose to just one bad game and some unlucky draws. So a match, you'll get to see both decks really go at it. That will eliminate a lot of the luck, the variance. Uh, Zane will be going first. There's no side decks. Uh, we'll, we'll play match rules. So uh, loser of the first game. Gets to pick if they want to go first or second for the second game. Loser of the second game gets to pick for the third game. Actually, only a few of our decks have side decks, but they're not really tournament style side decks. They're more of yeah. like anime arc side decks, so we wouldn't even side them really. Like an ex a few extra cards for Yugi's Waking Dragons deck, like the other Legend Dragons. And Jesse, we probably wouldn't even actually side them in tournament because yeah. uh, they're not they're not like you know they're not that kind of side deck. Anyway, guys, we will start it off. Let's we'll see who wins at least the first game. I like to meet different dimension capsules. Sure. So I'm gonna throw that card out of play for two turns. Hopefully there's nothing that'll destroy me right away. I'll let my turn. I'll draw. I'll set one card. I'll set another and end my turn. It's one turn on different dimension capsule. Now I will set two cards. Oh, <clears throat> right, capsule still on the field. Gold Star goes to the graveyard capsules. Like, oh, I, it, it, not that it, it really matters. But it could be MST. But Joey doesn't have Mystical Space Siphon. It's MST for those who don't know Mystical Space Siphon. My turn. Yep. I'm so hesitant to ever summon monsters against Sane's deck. Because, you, you, you know. Cyber, you trigger Cyber Dragon. Alright, I'll set one more card and then my turn. Now it goes to the grave. Get my card and I'll play it. Pot of greed. Nice. See some new cards. Yeah, it's just why summon a like Algear Sword Out or even Gear Free the Iron Knight to hit for a direct attack when it's just gonna get run over by Cyber Dragon. All right. Let's see how this goes for me. I'll start off by being Palmerization. No one saw a fusion coming. Diffuse two Cyber Dragons. Summon up my Cyber Twin Dragon. Alright, let's have Cyber Twin Dragon attack you directly. I have to activate Scapegoat. Uh, wow, I'll only throw down two tokens this time. Because I assume two will each eat an attack. Yep. Next, I'll set... Jeez. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will set one monster. And call it a turn. Eh, things ain't looking good for the wheeler. Awesome, Cyber Kieran. Cyber Kieran, attack a token. 
Sure. Start between and attack the token. Sure. And then the face down. Sure. Clearing out Joey's field. One more card down. I'll end my turn. I'll draw five back rows. Alright. <clears throat> Monster Reborn on your Cyber Dragon. I've got to get something going here, guys. And Alligator Sword. Let's have Cyber Dragon attack Cyber Kieran. I so hope there is nothing down here. <sighs> All right, and even though I'm staring down a Cyber Twin, Joey gets the first damage in, and it's 1800 on Zane. All right, guys, that'll end it for me. If nothing else, I'm making a stand against the Cyber Twin Dragon. All right. Cyber Twin Dragon, attack Cyber Dragon. Kunai with chain. Is there a trap jammer? Nope. Sweet. Kunai with chain will equip the Cyber Dragon. Give a 2600 attack. Well, I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will set one card face down. I'll uh, summon Blue Flame Swordsman, I guess. Have my 2600 attack, Cyber Dragon attack. <sighs> Making it somewhere. 1500? Call of the Haunted. I was afraid of that. Well, there's not much I can really do. Except end my turn and hope for the best. Activate drop off. It's a good hit, I guess. Cyber Twin Dragon. Attack Cyber Dragon. Sure. I'll take 200. And what will you attack next? I'll attack Alligator Sword. Sure, so I take 1500 total. Next, I activate Diffusion. Oh. Diffusing Cyber Twin on the two Cyber Dragons. Wow. Things are looking bad for Joey, guys. Things are looking very bad for Joey. Cyber Dragon 1 will attack Blue Flame Swordsman. 2 will attack directly. I'll take 2400. And there we go, Zane hitting hard with some cool combos. Then I reveal Photon Generator Unit. Jeez. Tributing both Cyber Dragons. Seven Cyber Laser Dragons. Where's the tribute to the Dune when you need it? <laughs> and you'll attack for 2400. I'll attack for 4800. Wow, and that'll be game. In a quick succession of good combos and good draws, the, the rug is just pulled out from under Joey. We'll drop those life points to zero from the 4,800, and we will go to the second game. So now it'll be on Joey. If he wants to win, he has to win the next two games back to back. That was uh, not a bad way to do 8,000 damage yeah. in one turn. Nothing for Joey there. So we will move on to the second game, guys. Keep watching. We'll see who wins his best two out of three. All right, guys. We reshuffled. And obviously, we didn't want to just have three minutes on camera of us pile shuffling again to get ready. So, so game two. We'll see. Uh, either Zane will clinch a fast 2-0. Or Joey will snatch one back and have an opportunity to come from behind. 
It's it's harder for a character to have to win two games in a row. Uh, we do lose the first match gets to choose, so Joey will go first. It's harder for a character, obviously. I will set one to each zone, and then my turn. I'll start by starting Cyber Phoenix. Sure. Then I'll activate Future Fusion. Sure. And DD Capsule. Jeez. Alright, let's see what Joey has. Big on Switch all at the same time. So, DD Capsule. And what will Future Fusion be bringing out? A trusty ace. Cyber Twin Dragon. Alright, let me try to win before the Cyber Twin comes down. I don't know if that'll be possible, guys, but we'll see. I'll have Cyber Phoenix attack your face down. Necromane King, which will just be destroyed. And then I'll uh, end my turn. I'll draw? I just figured I'd search them at the same time. I'll get them at the same time. I'll summon Time Wizard, because <laughs> when your deck is not giving you any plays, sometimes you have to use a Time Wizard just on a Cyber Phoenix. Heads. <laughs> and there we go. Called it right, for what it's worth. 500 damage. Sure. And again, first damage comes from Joey. It may not mean much. And I'm mad I didn't get to draw a card. And I end my turn. Well, you have a Cyber Phoenix coming anyway, so. Don't be, <laughs> don't worry too much. I'll end my turn. With one turn left on each. I'll draw. With my capsule fusion combo. Different dimension future. Now this is going to matter a whole lot, but I'll tribute Time Wizard for Jinzo. Attack for 2400. Because what else can I do? I will set yet another face down and end my turn. Guys, I'm in a really bad position, and Cyber Twin is the most powerful fusion Zane has. I'll draw. The best, the best. I shouldn't say most powerful. The best fusion Zane has. I will claim the card from Different Dimension Capsule. And I will special summon Cyber Twin Dragon. Sure. Cyber Twin Dragon. Attack Jinzo. I'll take 400. I'll use Battle Fusion. Oh, so I'll take 2800? Right, so I'll so, take 2,800 from that battle. And then 20 if we attack again successfully. I like these skull dice. Save myself a little damage. Let's roll. One. Two. So, so I take 2,600. Not good for Joey. Not good at all. I'll summon Proto Cyber Dragon. Set two cards in my turn. I'll draw. I'll end my turn at that, guys. Cyber Twin attack the face down. Fiber Jar. Alright, everything will be shuffled back in. I may have drawn very poorly, but the Fiber Jar will be my saving grace. It usually is. Assuming I can draw well off of what I get. So, uh, it'll still be your turn. Well, it'll still be Blue's turn. It's only the battle phase, not that it matters. Yeah. See, and, Cyber uh, Jar, I can still go off of the battle phase. Then we will each draw five cards. Those are unfamiliar with Fiber Jar. Alright, let's see what each of us gets. Well, let's not really see, because... Well, each of us will see what... We will each see what, each one of us will see what each one of us gets. That's hard to phrase. Each All one right. of us will see what they get. Well, I'm going to go to main phase two. Sure. Activate future fusion. So 
let's see if I can bring back again. Cyber Twin. Cyber Twin Dragon. Getting a 1 in 40, getting one card in 40 is statistically improbable one time, let alone two in a row. We'll see if Joey has an answer for Cyber Twin this time. I don't like to eat Pot of Greed. I'll play DD Capsule again. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will summon Alligator Sword. Then activate Dark Dragon Ritual by sending Gearfee the Swordmaster to the graveyard. I can special summon Paladin of Dark Dragon. Then I will use Paladin of Dark, Dra of Dark Dragon's effect, tripping it to special summon one Red Eyes monster from my hand or deck, which will be Red Eyes Black Dragon. Alligator. Uh, right attack for 2400. Alright. And Alligator Sword will attack for 15. And I will end my turn. This will be your first turn on Future Fusion. Well, I have nothing. Alright. Looks like it's Joey's turn. I will tribute for Jinzo and tackle everything. For no reason. I don't know. It's, it's it's best practice. Theoretically, maybe there's a chat card that you didn't feel justified to activate last turn. But regardless, guys, that was a, a pretty close game. Zane laid a smackdown on Joey. Um, a lucky Fiber Jar combated a lucky Future Fusion. And then a good series of draws combats the second Future Fusion. And we will take it to a third game of both players of 1-1. We'll see who wins this and will come out on top as the winner of the tournament. <laughs> Alright guys, it is one and one. Zane struck early um, with a decisive victory. Looked like he was going to beat Joey, but Joey pulled it from the jaws of defeat. Now, it is hard for a deck to win two games in a row, but if Joey wants to emerge the victor of this tournament, that's what he's going to have to do. Otherwise, Zane will take it. And uh, loser goes first, so Blue will get to go first to Zane. All right, guys, everything comes down to this. I'm sure everybody has a favorite they're rooting for. I'll end. I will draw. I'll summon Panther Warrior. Throw down two face downs and call it a turn. Because sadly, my Panther cannot attack. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I'll summon Gearfree the Iron Knight. Gearfree the Tax Abbot Phoenix. 600 damage and a draw for Zane. And uh, that'll end it for Joey. Some classic Ballast Age Joey Masters coming out. Oh, to be Call the Haunted. Oh. Bring back Cyber Phoenix. Next. Oh, to be Power Bond. Oh, jeez. Using Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Barrier, and Cyber Dragon. Oh, wow. That will Chimera attack over dragon. Be a 4800 attack Chimera tech. Before he blows up my field. Chain limiter removal. It's at 9600. I can attack up to three monsters because I used three monsters. <laughs> Quick math. <laughs> 
Shows that Joey won't survive this. Chimera attack over dragon. Attack Yurfi the Iron Knight. Uh, I'll skull dash for what it's worth. Four. What is it, 9200? Well, 24 it doesn't times matter. 2 48. times 2. Yeah. So 96. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so it's 9200. Doesn't really matter, guys. 92 minus 18 is 74. That's almost enough to wipe me out by itself. I'm going to deduct just large amounts, guys. It doesn't matter. Um, it would have been another 72 on top of it. I also had diffusion. Oh, wow. All right, guys. And there it is. Zayna's won the tournament. Uh, both two powerful decks. They really went out. There's a lot of powerful decks in this tournament. Um, you know, we uh, saw the debut of Rebecca Zach. Her deck was quite good. So, uh, yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this tournament. Uh, definitely something that we're not opposed to doing again in the future. But uh, not for a while. Yeah, we have lots of stuff planned. We have our Duelist Kingdom deck wave is about to drop. That's some Duelist Kingdom decks coming out Friday. Get so excited for that. Guys, keep watching everything. We hope you all really enjoy the tournament. Congrats to Zane, who's the winner. Joey gets second place. And uh, Rebecca's Rebecca third. third. So, and Joey, and Yugi's fourth. So, guys, YGO Anime Games out.